Um, Dr. Stein, um, I have heard that when a person does an implant, um, or when a person loses a teeth, a tooth, um, then the bones start shrinking and the whole arch starts shrinking. Um, is that true? And can you shed some light on that? Yes, there there is a, a layer of bone, uh, the alveolar bo alveolar bone that that is there for the tooth, and when the tooth is lost, that that bone does shrink, um, and it can can affect the adjoining teeth as well. So it's it is important uh, if a tooth is lost to to replace it, um, and and not to leave the space behind. Um, whether it's for, and there are different ways of replacing a tooth, but it is important not to leave spaces behind. So you do want to replace. So if you have, for instance, if you put in on a whole mouth where the whole, all the teeth are missing, if you put in a denture, apparently the teeth are still continue to shrink versus if you put in implants because you put that metal rod all the way down uh, uh, around or in many places at least around the, the mouth that that kind of replaces the root of the original tooth at least the body thinks so and thus the, the, the bones are not shrinking um, is them so? Yes, yes, that's, that's true in fact with implants today um, bone can be built up uh, where bone has been lost, um, and it's actually been very. It's actually easy to build bone up. Uh, it's easier to build bone with an implant than with a natural tooth. Um, so it, it's uh, th th and it does help preserve the bone and even build upwards. Whereas a denture does cause deterioration of bone over time. Um, which is why dentures have to be relined um, because to replace the the bone that's been lost usually every few years and implants will last for many years uh, and the bone has proven to, to last for a long time right and so even if a denture is relined every uh, few years isn't that the reason why our grandmoms where there was no no implants available uh, why they kind of looked a little caged in and, and like a dried out tomato and basically older than they were? Uh, does that, does, does a shrinking yes. of bondage have something to do with looking older than you are? Yes, absolutely. Loss of teeth does make a person look older and, and, and the shrinkage when, when a person takes out, a person that has no teeth, if they remove the denture, the face looks very uh, sunken in. Uh, it has a sunken in appearance, which is what a denture doesn't just replace the teeth. It it builds uh, you you bulk it up so that it it gives it fill. It's like a filler. There's a lot of filler material that's put in to get so that it builds the gives the appearance back of of not having that sunken in feeling or or, or appearance. So right, uh, denture is it, super. Is it is it actually is it is is actually uh, you know from what I hear. And no matter what, on a denture you get a shrinking feeling, and you you know you got you get a shrunken and sunken in feeling, or like a you know coming forward or coming back, whichever way. Um, uh, and where it's uh, it's unavoidable, where yet with implant it doesn't happen. So basically, a person who wears 20 years denture and 20 years implants, would the person with 20 years denture, no matter what, look older compared to what he normally looks? Uh, versus if he would be wearing uh, uh, or have got an implant. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. So a person that does wear dentures does look o older. It does give a per make a person look older. And implants preserves the bone so that it's as if a, the teeth are there, and it preserves. It gives a more natural and a younger appearance. Well, it looks to me. Um, I mean, um, um, if it would be me, I would be starting to saving up uh, as fast as I can money to get the implants if I have to. Which brings me to a question. If a person today doesn't have money for an implant uh, or for several implants uh, and needs to take other solutions or let's say the dentures if it's uh, that drastic, if he has neglected his teeth that long, uh, because if he wouldn't have neglected it, these days I don't think he ever would need denture. You could fix it way before. Am I, am I mistaken there? Um, no, no, you're correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, 
a person who nevertheless is confronted by you, implant denture, and the bill will with no doubt be a, a, a difference, a, a fair difference, and he yeah. doesn't have it for the implant, would it be okay for him or advisable for him to say, okay, go for the denture because you, you need a mouth tomorrow, you need to buy it, you need to look presentable tomorrow. Let's get yeah. denture and then start saving up. And within a year, two or three, you will have the money for the implant. Just put it, make that as, as important as your rent and as important as your electricity and you will have the money and then you can get it and you're still preserving the rest of the 20, 30, 40 years you're living um, a, 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 you know, a, a normal uh, look rather than becoming a tried out tomato. Yes, I would. I would recommend. Uh, I, I think it is a worthwhile investment, and and we would like to place the implants sooner rather than later. The, the more time that goes by, the more bone deterioration is. But uh, everybody's finances are different, and they we try. But the sooner that it can be done, the better it is. The better. Um, the better result, and the less the bone deterioration would be. Um, but if a person really can't do it, then we, we have to wait a few years, um, and we may have to build, do bone grafts to build the bone, build upwards, um, to try to restore the bone. But it is but an investment. Worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it to, to, to A, pull out all the stops right away, and get yes. that, uh, those implants and or at least to put the gas pedal on saving up money for it uh, as fast yes. as possible. Because, because after all, I mean, whether it's, a, whether it's, you know, a, a guy uh, like you and me, uh, whether we're 30, 40, or 60, or, or, or whether it's girls, I don't think any one of us, especially these days, wants to look right. older than we are. We, we don't mind getting a couple of wrinkles our age, so to say. We, we're okay with that, especially as guys. Um, right. but, but to look older, and if you realize that the teeth are making you look older, I mean, that, that just don't sounds reasonable if it can be avoided, right? Right, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I would. You, you were saying something. I was interrupting you. Um, no, no, no. I think I, I agree with you. I do think it is a worthwhile investment, and we, we all try to do what we can to both to preserve uh, appearance and, and function, and it, it, uh, the implants serve both. Um, it, it makes the food, it, it lets a person eat normally and, and have that feeling of, of having their own teeth and, and uh, also preserves their appearances. So it, it's something that we should strive to do. Um, I, we, have, we should strive to, to keep our teeth, but if, if that can't be, then the next step would be to, to do implants to right. try to preserve or to restore the teeth to make them as close to natural as possible. Right. So, here we have it. The dentist, the beautician, the dentist, the plastic surgeon, the plant dentist, the alternative to Botox. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> bye yeah. bye, Dr. Stein. Okay, bye now.